beauty, 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 beauty. It's not beautylish. Why did I say beauty like 75 times? Like some kind of maniac. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Audra, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly, I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, okay, so in these times, uh, I find that it is good to have a distraction, something fun to do, and there's a lot of people who do um, what's in my bag. However, I don't really carry a bag, and when I do carry a bag, there's no makeup in it. I've already said this before, I am not a touch-up bitch, so the thing about that is I'm never going to have something fun or interesting in my bag, um, well, for the most part. So I thought instead I would do what's in my cart. Now, this actually started for me as something to do to stop myself from soothe buying. Now, what is soothe buying? Well, when... I'm not going to say that it's a shopping addiction because I don't think that it is and the people who do suffer from true shopping addictions, that is some serious shit and I'm not going to try to you know, jump on that and take that. But what, I, but what I will say, words, but what I will say is there's a group of people who when feeling bad, they shop. <laughs> And it helps to soothe because shopping releases endorphins. But you know what I figured out? Simply by putting stuff in the cart, release the same endorphins. I put myself into a large amount of debt a while back. Most of it I've climbed out of uh, by soothe shopping. Every time I was upset, I would buy stuff. So to curb it, I, uh, and it actually has worked, I put things in my cart and have a good time and pretend that I have all the money in the world and can buy everything in my cart. So keep that in mind. There's not a price limit and if you are a person who uh, has issues with shopping addictions or any of that kind of stuff please for the love of all that is good and holy don't worry about it don't watch this video slide on out i completely understand so let's get started all right so for my first ever what's in my cart i was having some fun on beauty bay just to kind of take my mind off of being an essential employee and having to be at work so i thought it would be fun if we just kind of went through and looked at everything I have my cart, we're gonna mm, shock ourselves at the total, but before we get started, you know, a little something to drink. It's a cute mug, right? It's Kate the Great Beauty's merch, and she had one in tur turquoise, so I was like, bitch. Youngish, I'm youngish. Youngish. All right, let's get started. So the first palette that we're going to look at that's in my cart is the Berries and Cream palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I really like this, y'all. So it's really, like, I think it's because it's got those purples in there, the blue. I do actually like blue if it's done right. There are a lot of blues that are just not done well for me, for my liking, where I feel like they trend in the wrong direction for blue. Like some of them are a little bit too navy. Anyhow, but this one looks like it's not right. It's not if it's not the right navy. Do you know what I'm saying? There's like a good navy and then there's a bad navy. Anyhow, this one seems to have like that really good navy. And I feel like you have a good collection of looks that you can make out of this. And you also have some good selections to try to just like one shadow makeup. So I like that. Just do one shadow and go. So I do enjoy that. What do you think? And as we go along, let me know which one of these you either have or want to have. Next up is the Linda Halberg palette. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's the palette by Linda Halberg. And uh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so typically we all know. We all know I'm that bitch who's like, I don't like color. But I am falling more and more in love with color as we go along, and I'm loving it. I think one of the things I really like about this is I just love the color selection. Like, I like how they put that together. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. There's something very pretty about the colors. Like, it's a really good color story, and I like the way that they didn't just do, like, pops of color. Because there's some color palettes which do rely on a pop to trick you, right? Because they're you get them and then you realize that like the pigments aren't all there. It looks like hot garbage. You're pretty upset. But this is one where I just feel very much like they did a really good job compiling this and the color story is very pretty and you definitely have for sure two looks in there and then it just it, I feel like there's a lot of fun to be had. 
All right, a lot of fun to be had. That one's $54.25. If I don't say the prices, they will be coming up with the palette. All right, guys, so here is our next one. This one is actually by Beauty Bay. I don't know why I wanted it, but it's the Iron Bright 16 color palette. I don't know, it was just, it was just bright and pretty. <laughs> That's all I got to say. It was bright, pretty, it looks fun. It looks like it's pigmented. It's got a lovely red in there. I haven't had a red eyeshadow, like a red red, and I thought it would be fun to have a red red eyeshadow. And this seems to fit the bill to kind of really help me with getting even more colorful. Um, so there's that. Next up is the Milani Gilded Palette in Jade. Okay, so typically I don't like palettes like this because I don't like the highlighter type cheek shit to be in the palette, but I do love Milani and I have been wanting to try their eyeshadows. I just haven't done so yet, I haven't pulled the trigger. So I like it, I like the greens. I like the greens. Cause you know back in the days they were like, if you got brown eyes, wear green eyeshadow. But back then they did not have a green either, so you ended up looking like a clown. Next up, we have the Uma Beauty Black Magic Carnival Eyeshadow Palette. This one's $46.50. I love everything Uma, and I actually really want to try this. I like this one because of the yellow and the purple and the pink in there. They're just mwah. So I just really want to play with it and have a good time. And I love supporting Uma, so. Uma. Talk to me, girl. All right. Next up is the Clayberry and Bougie palette. I said that all super weird and I apologize. Um, it's Clayberry and Bougie palette. Okay, I don't know why I decided it was French. We're gonna move on. This one is um, set by Sosu by Suzanne Jackson. I just, I like the color story, I know. It's, it's a little eight pan fun, it's nothing too extravagant, and it's not super expensive either. I think that's what I liked about it, is it's like a fun palette that doesn't have like a lot of shit going on, because some of these smaller palettes just have like too much happening, and I know that that seems weird to say, but some of these smaller palettes are just like, you're doing too much. And this one is not doing too much, and I like that a lot about this. And again, $17.50, I mean, why wouldn't I buy it? What kind of freak am I? Next up is the Offline Eyeshadow Palette by Zoeva. Is it Zoeva? 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 All right, so anyway, I like this because it does have some pastels that I think would actually look good on my skin tone. I shy away from pastel colors specifically because I'm dark skinned. And if you are dark skinned, or you've seen people who are dark skinned, there's a lot, there's a very specific science, for me anyway, to getting a good pastel that's not gonna make me look like I just rose up out of the grave and I'm coming for your socks. So I like this for that, and it just looks like a little fun, fun thing to have, and I like it because you can also do every day. Of course, speaking of every day, the next thing in my palette is another Uma Beauty, or cart is another Uma Beauty Black Magic Color Poise. It's another one of the, like, I have the next two are black, are the Black Magic palettes from Uma. So don't come for me on this, but I chose Poise and Allure. I want all of them. Like, that's my life. I want all of them. They just look so fun. And I think the thing that I like is that for the most part, between all of them so far, there's not like a large overlap of the same colors being in the palettes. Although Allure does have a little bit in common with Carnival. Um, with the yellows, uh, but otherwise, I don't know, I, I just want them all. Can I, uh, this is my card, okay? You build your own card. <laughs> so I like both of those. Next up in my lovely cart, I have the Sigma Beauty Enchanted Eyeshadow Palette. Um, yeah, I don't know why exactly I put this in here, but I think it's because I don't have anything by Sigma, and this, for some reason or another, caught my eye. And that's that on that. <laughs> Next we have another So Sue by Suzanne Jackson palette. This is Clay Azure Allure palette. Please someone make me stop trying to speak French. Please. Um, I like this one because it's blues and greens and purples. I think I could make a lot of cool ass looks with that. I mean I'm not super skilled or anything as you can clearly see but it would be fun. Ooh I love this. Okay this I think I like this because it belies the name. So this one's by Dominic Cos Dominique Cosmetics, sorry. And it's the Rustic Glam Eyeshadow Palette. So the thing that's interesting about this is that nothing about this says rustic. <laughs> and it really doesn't say glam. I don't understand its name. And it's for that reason that I'm like, well, I must have this. You have confused me into wanting it. 
So that's where that happened. I literally just got confused into wanting to buy this palette. I'm sorry, it's hot as shit in here today. It was 90 degrees. 90 degrees. I am filming this on a Wednesday, so that would be March 25th. It's hot. All right. Next is the Eternity Palette by Certify. Like, I... All right, I just like this. I love all the pinks and the oranges. I just think that this is totally my vibe. My vibe is completely encapsulated. And it's on sale, girl, $24.50. I'd love to have this in my, um, uh, uh, um, I'm trying not to say collection, <laughs> but I would. I want to have it in my collection. I think it's gorgeous. It's $24.50 right now. I just love all the colors in it. I've never heard of this, but I love it. All right, then there's another Milani palette in the cart. This one is the Bold Obsessions palette. It's just another one I want to try. This is obviously more my wheelhouse of colors. This is more like, oh, I like these colors. They're the colors that I normally slide to, and I think that it would be nice to just kind of throw this into my collection and just have a nice palette like this because I don't really have one that I like yet. I have some that I've received some from beauty boxes, but mm, I don't have one I like yet. <sighs> We are made, like I am spending so much fake money, you guys. So much fake money. And, and spending my fake money, I decided to get a palette from Nabla, the secret palette, and I just, again, it's it's me. It's a, it's a me palette. And I like that like pretty pink that's up there. And there's just, I don't know, it's just pretty. It's, just let me have my moments. Let me be boring. But I like this palette, and it just looks, it just looks beautiful. I like the rusty colors on the bottom too, so I'm down to try those. $39. $39. Of course, my cart would not be complete without having something from Colored Rain in it, and I really want this very cute mini palette. Like, I want it with my whole heart. My whole heart. It's just, like, a little six-pan palette could really just make all my dreams come true, obviously. Uh, that one's only $21.25, so I would definitely want that. Uh, then we have the Violet Voss The Rainbow Palette, obviously getting into that color fun. I actually picked this one because I was watching uh, Emily Hanhan. You guys know I watch the shit out of her channel, so like you're going to just have to get used to hearing her. But I was watching her do um, sh shit, her swatch party, and she had all of her blues, and she had some turquoise colors in there, and it made me want this because I saw these colors, and I was like, oh. So I thought I'd get it. Have some turquoise in my life. Next up is the Viviart Dark Edit Eyeshadow Palette, and that just looks like I'm going to be doing like a lot of fun, trendy, not trendy, I'm just lying, I'm not trendy at all. This shirt is from Walmart, and, but it's really comfortable, but I'm getting a lot of unboot sweat. Let us move on. Uh, I just really like the way that this looks. There's something about it, it kind of reminds me of Pac-Man, and I don't know why. So then we have the Jouer Cosmetics. Tan Lines, Matte Shimmer, and Lux Foil Eyeshadow Palette. So here's the thing, I hate the name, but I love the palette. Again, I think I was drawn to this because of the blue shades, and also the orange look pretty awesome, and I just really kind of like that yellow too. Like, I'm, I really want, I'm on the hunt for a bomb ass yellow. I haven't found it yet. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> And the next thing in my palette is from Lunar Beauty, that's Manny MUA's brand. This is the Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette. Say what you will about the man, but I really like this palette. I've seen a lot of people have it and enjoy it. I want to have it and enjoy it, not because they did, but because I want it. I just think it's a really, really pretty palette. It's one of those palettes that like, just it, it makes you happy, you know what I mean? Like your soul gets like a little, a little bump when you see it. You're like, oh. And I kind of like the way that it's put together where it's almost like on this side, you know, well, I'm looking at it this way, you're probably looking at it differently, but on one side of it, it's just like your regular everyday shit, and then on the other side, it's like, BAM! And then you could just kind of like make the friends hang out, and then be all like, <laughs> Finally, we have come to the end of the cart, and I wanted this radioactive pressed pigment palette from Melt Cosmetics, because it looks like a party. It looks like a party. There's a glorious purple, a beautiful teal, this green, the pink. It just looks like there's gonna be a whole like menagerie of fun for me. And I'm about that menagerie of fun. Like I just want my eyes to be lit up, you know, especially like now. It's like everything's so blah. And I just wanna be like, ah! So I am digging that and for $38.50, it's on sale right now. So 
that is everything in my cart right now uh, on Beauty Bay. It's all eyeshadow. If you like this video, I will do a, another one. Um, let's pick something. We're going to choose between... Mm, what should we choose between? Y'all let me know. That we'll see. Do you want to see cheeks? Do you want to see highlighter? Do you want to see lippies? Do you want to see skincare? Let me know and I will just start hunting in my cart. And hey, we can even play along. You guys put your cart together. I'll let you know when the next video is coming out. And then we'll see if we have matching carts. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you the total because we're about to scare ourselves. <clears throat> Before taxes, shipping, and handling, <clears throat> it is $712.25 for 21 items. <laughs> if you want to know one thing that I definitely do is when I am ready to buy something, because I, I eventually do usually buy something, but what I will do is every time I look at the cart, I go through and I go, eh, I don't need that one, and I'll like delete things, remove them out of the cart until I'm down to an actual manageable price that I can afford to pay out of pocket. I don't like to use any of the buy now, pay later type things, and that's a choice of mine, because once you've gone into debt and you've destroyed your life for a little period of time, trying to pay all that shit back, it becomes extremely important that you make sure that whatever you buy, you can just afford to buy it at that time. All right. All right, guys, that is it. Again, if you like this video, please a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you want to do another one and we can do carts together and see if our carts match. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? I don't know, because like the wine in my youngish cup. <laughs> Everything that's on my face will be in the description below. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing. It's kind of a party here, a weird party. It's a party for party for one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay safe out there, guys. Please, please take everything seriously. I'm not going to tell you to wash your hands. You should have been doing that already. Just saying. Just saying. Until next time, I love each and every one of you. Have a great day. And do this. Oh,